Hey guys, it's Movie Giddies. What's up? We're back with some more modding Minecraft. <coughs> and um, today we are going to be adding blocks. Um, one block, uh, more if we have time. But um, it could be any block you want. Um, I'll show you later. But uh, we have to add a few things first. So we need to right click on this package, new package and call it uh, all that plus lib for library and we can go ahead create class call it references this just keeps everything organized and uh, you'll see in a minute um, then we also have to create another package and call it blocks and another one called proxy <coughs> and under proxy we have to create two classes one called proxy client and the other one is called proxy common okay so now we could actually get into making our mod uh, even better than what it is now. So let's go <coughs> add on to this references. Um, we'll return down, go public, static, final, string, mod ID equals YouTube mod or whatever you decide to name your mod and then we'll just do this a few more times public static final string uh, version make sure it's all caps and then whatever version your mod is um, public static uh, final string name and then whatever the name of the mod is okay so now that that's all done uh, we could go into our YouTube mod um, <clears throat> we can do references references then we also have to add uh, references dot name okay <clears throat> oh name equals okay there we go then you'll get this error don't worry about it just press command shift O and that is imported so it's all fixed we don't need that anymore it's more clean so now that we're done with that let's go on to the proxy stuff so we'll go into proxy client first we'll type extends proxy common um, return down public it void register render information then we're done with that and in proxy common I always have to type the same thing public void reg uh, register render information okay don't need the MC mod it's 1.0 um, don't need references <coughs> references <coughs> um, so now we can actually go ahead and create our first block um, 
and oh yeah we have to add uh we have to add something with the proxy uh we'll just return down go slash slash which means uh eclipse is not going to read that the code will not be read so the information on proxy and then at sided proxy client side equals com dot movie goodies dot youtube mod dot proxy dot proxy client and um uh we have to import cited proxy so we'll do that and then we also have to oh Oops, I have to put that in quotes. Then, no, we don't have to do that. My bad. And then we have to do uh, server side equals com dot movie goodies dot YouTube mod dot uh, proxy dot proxy common. And uh, what's going on with you? Oh, right. Um, then all we have to do here to fix that error is public static proxy, yeah, common proxy. Import proxy common. Now we are pretty much ready. Um, we'll get to this in a later tutorial. Uh, it'll be creative inventory tabs. But we'll just create that now. Then recipes. I'll put everything where they should be um, at a later time. Then smelting recipes. And blocks and we'll go ahead and add the code in right now uh, public static final block when I was testing this out I just named the block block one but it really doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want it should work the same uh, then give it an item ID and the material can be whatever you want it to be so we'll just go through this a carpet I haven't seen carpet so we'll do that and then <clears throat> we have to import block at net minecraft block and now we have to create a class called block block one and we do that right here new class block block one Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, okay, one last thing on proxy. Go proxy dot register render information. Okay, so we're done with that. Now we could move on to this and. <clears throat> What we type here is extends block, and then public. Ugh, so you should do that block block one, then int for integer, and i is the number. And then material and whatever material you chose, we chose carpet. So, oops. Just like that. And we get an error. Uh -huh. Import block. Okay, so import 
material. Okay. Uh, now, we just go super. Carpet. And uh, this is where we're adding all the all the um, contents of the block. So this for this class. Then dot set creative tab. And um, we'll come back to that in a later tutorial. Import creative tabs. <coughs> Okay, so this dot set step eh, sound, then sound type carpet. Hmm. Eh. We'll see if that fixes itself. Um, this dot set hardness of the block. Um, it's in float, so let's just go five floats. This dot set resistance to explosions. Um, we'll go ten floats. This dot set. No, we, we don't have to do that. Um, oh, we do have to do this. So this dot set block name. We'll just call it block one. How creative. I'll change the name later. Uh, sound type carpet. Um, we could change it to wool. Wool. Uh, snow. Snow is close enough. Okay, so... Uh, might as well just change all that. Uh, okay. Import block. Import that stuff. Alright, that's all fixed. Now we have to do game registry dot register block then block one block one oh and then also we have to add language registry dot add name block one Ooh, block one. Port language registry. Um, we'll go ahead and items. We'll just add it for now. Uh, don't worry about these if they're underlined. Uh, change to borax. All oh, right. It's random. So um. We should be done. If you want to make a lamp block, all you have to do is type this dot set light level and then like 0 0.5 floats. Don't go above one. And then um, it generates light. But uh, we don't need to worry about that now. So let's go ahead and run. Let's go load up. All right. If we go into our inventory, go and look up block one. I don't. I don't know how to add textures quite yet, but um, it sounds like snow. I know you guys can't hear it, but it sounds like snow. Uh, next video would. We'll the items and tools, hopefully both, maybe one or the other. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.